What's up NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another episode where we get into the kitchen and cook some more classic American food. And today we have none other than... Drum roll please. Me! <laughs> Denzel, no we have cornbread and... Chili! It looks really good, like I, I couldn't believe when I saw the pictures of it. I thought cornbread was just like a piece of bread that you just have with a meal. No, but this is cornbread and chili. This is like a dish. Sometimes I thought you had corn on bread. No, so sometimes <laughs> I think that cornbread can be like a side dish yeah. to a meal. But what we're creating is an actual meal. It looks amazing. It does look amazing. I've never tried anything I've never like seen it. it. Oh, you haven't even seen a picture of it? Oh, <laughs> man. You can wait. Wait. <laughs> you're going to mince meat. <laughs> mince meat! <laughs> Operation mince meat. Ground beef! <laughs> Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. But before we move on guys, we just want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Temu. Guys, you need to check out Temu. It's one of the fastest growing online stores in the world and for good reason. The affordable prices, high quality goods, free shipping and returns within 90 days, crazy amount of categories. I mean, look at this, pretty much anything you need is here and the coupons are amazing. When you sign up using our special link in the description box below, you will get $100 worth of coupons for free. So make sure you download the Temu app today and let's head over to the living room now to check out what we got in our Temu haul. And here it is guys, here is the big box of goodies that we got from Temu. So you guys ready to see what's inside? Yes. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, first thing I see is a car for Denzel. Wow. Oh, look at that. Are you looks... sure you can build this? Well that is oh, so nice. cool. It's a famous car, I can't believe you haven't heard of it before. <laughs> <laughs> it's famous. Yeah. All right, next up, we have got, so I made sure that I went through and picked some stuff that we had, uh, we needed for our upcoming travel. Yes. So here we go, there's some packing cubes for Miss oh, Nadine. Oh, I've been talking about packing cubes. Some beige packing cubes. Wow. And I got myself the navy. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, there's even a toilet bag in here. I know, and it's mesh on the top, so you don't need to keep uh, unzipping to check what you've got inside. Oh, you can see exactly what's in there. That's so perfect. It's awesome. Okay, so we've got a traveling thing for Atlanta. Oh. Shoe bags. These are so perfect because when you're walking around everywhere, your shoes get so dirty. All right, Denzel. So I don't know if you want to take these traveling or not, but we got you some football slippers. Oh, Look at that. What a guess. Two toes so up. Cool. What a guess, Dad. <laughs> Two toes All up. right, Atlanta, we got a, a little digital travel camera. <gasps> this oh, is this... trending everywhere. Everyone has these little kids' cameras. And they're like so, nice. so cool. Awesome, you get some good photos of that. That's All right, awesome. back to Nades for some traveling. We've got a travel pillow. Yes! Look at Perfect that. Oh, man. How did you oh, know? Man, you some nice sleeps on the plane. Oh, that's it. That's actually <laughs> so comfortable. I know. Oh, and guess what? I can join you with my sleeping mask. <laughs> you ready? Go. Next up, Denzel, back to you. We have got a Triceratops. Oh, you need. I think you need to dig for that, like an, uh, a fossil. Actually, back to Denzel. We've got another little traveling thing. So, what do you think that's for? The size, the shape, it's the switch. Yep, it's, it's a Nintendo switch. switch for traveling. Oh, it's a stand! Yep, so he can oh. he can put it on a stand, he doesn't have to hold it the whole time. So you can watch it like a TV. Yep, yeah. if you've got movies and stuff on there. And we've also got, oh yes, so I needed a new wallet for traveling. So this is a really ultra thin wallet, also carbon fiber, so nice and sleek, lightweight. Perfect. And this is cool because you can chuck your, all your cards that you need in there, your cash, and it just comes in a sleek little package. All your cash. Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. and do you know the other thing? I really want it. I know, guess what? What? I got you one. What? <laughs> Did you? Yep. Honestly. That's yeah. so cool. And guess what else? This is also uh, anti-theft. It blocks RF RFID theft. That's so cool. Keeps it nice and safe. How good. Yep. All right. Okay, Atlanta. We have got, now we've got some goodies. Take a look inside there. <gasps> it's oh. a travel jewelry box. Yep. Oh, it's That's so, so perfect. So you take so all your jewelry. All the necklaces go here. You can put rings here and like earrings and stuff in there and bracelets. Hey Atlanta, also you know how you've got your awesome little bracelet business? Yeah. So here's a box full of all sorts of little like links and chains and <gash> Like everything that you Supplies. can put. Oh my yep. gosh, that's so perfect. All to do with your bracelets. How good. And also another thing that we need for traveling is your handy dandy travel adapter. Oh. Look at that. Boom. Oh. Straight for America. Look at that. That's cool, eh? Cool. It's got all the prongs for all the different countries that you need to go to. It says America and Europe. Yep. Oh wow. America and oh, Europe. That's perfect because we're going to go to those places. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Okay, what? so when we're traveling, you know how I need to like sometimes take care of my like nose hair or my like beard, trim it, you know, like just take care of myself. <laughs> a little, like... Trim your fingers, yeah, a little bit of a shave. Got my own little men's traveling men's Perfect. care kit. Men's care kit. Yeah, a little I love toiletry it. kit with like a grooming kit. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is the box from Timu. So once again, yeah. a huge thank you for sponsoring this video. Uh, you guys have helped us out awesomely with our travels coming up, and we've got so much stuff that we needed, and also some goodies on the side. So yeah. make sure you go and check out the site. And make sure you use our coupon, it would be in the pinned comment and the description box below. 
Thank you, Timo. Thank we love you. you guys. I think there's going to be a lot of variations in, first of all, the cornbread that you make, but then also probably the chili. What, what you serve with it. We're going with chili, and then obviously there's probably loads of different variations of chili too. But today we're going with ground beef, or mince, as we would say. Uh, and then also a, a little tip that we heard was that you are not supposed to put kidney beans in chili or any beans at all in chili So apparently that's the OG the original way of how you're supposed to have it. So that's what we're gonna do today And yeah, it looks amazing. It almost looks like some sort of like fancy lasagna bake kind of like pie topping sort of weird thing. Like shepherd's pie. Yeah, pies. shepherd's pie. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Okay, we need I have the onion. The key to the ingredients. Right. Oh yeah. And also, Sweet. if you want to follow along, uh, the recipe that we're using today is called Sally's Baking Addiction. Is so, the recipe the place that I use to get most of my recipes for? Oh, okay, so we've used them before? Yeah. Oh, sweet. So what you can use stuff like turkey, which we don't really have here. Yeah, turkey is not really a thing here. Is that, so would that be turkey chili? I don't know. <laughs> or is that, I, like, is that like slices like, of turkey? No, I think it's like this, like beef, but turkey. Ah, okay. We just don't have that. Kind of turkey here. No, we don't at all. Yeah, well, there's there's a few things that actually you can't uh, you can't really get in New Zealand. So another one is cornmeal. Yeah. So cornmeal is just something that you don't get here at all. Well, because we don't cook with it. No, we never use cornmeal. It's just basically flour and you know baking powder and stuff like that for baking and. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a chopping board there, mate? Onion and garlic. Or nah. Yes. Nah. Nah. Yes. You just want to leave it. No. Okay. Also, tuck those fingers in, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this recipe, oh, Sam, yeah. Yeah. has kidney beans in it. Oh, really? Yeah. But I've been told by many people before. Yeah, because we used yeah. beans in our mince one time. Yes. And then all of y'all yeah. were up in the up in the comments section. Up in arms. Yeah, like yeah. don't put beans anywhere. Apparently that's an English thing. Oh, okay. Beans. Yeah, putting beans yeah. in your mince and everything. Oh, anyway, your ground beef. She's eating raw garlic. Do you dare me to take a bite? Yes. yes. Yeah, go. Okay. No, but like not a massive bite, just a small bite. You have to chew it and swallow it though. <laughs> are there any more onions so we can soak yep. up a little bit? Yeah, yeah there's loads of onions. This. Wait, are you going to eat half of it? Eat that much. Okay, no, no. It. Oh, really? Yeah, go. Good? Go. Okay, go. 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 Is it really good? I don't even want to go anywhere near you after your breath. Yeah. Oh, your breath is going to be... Can I smell it? Can I smell it? it? Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ma! Where's the onions? <laughs> The whole lot. Well, yeah. Seven hundred grams. Yep. Wait, Fry it up. How many? Can you tell me how many pounds that is, please? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just made it up, so let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually? Yeah. What do you think of my socks and slides? Is that the look? It's not the look. Why not? That's not the look. Oh really? No. Nah. I thought it was the latest trend. Mm, it is. No one goes to here. you for yeah. the latest trends. Socks and jandies and like Adidas and Nike on the same feed. That's, oh. that's, that's also another trend. Are you kidding me? That's yeah. so bad. I know. Hashtag not sponsored, but could be. <laughs> yeah. Give me a call, Nike. Hashtag send us a DM. Slide into the DMs. Yeah, no sure. pun intended. Uh, you got it in your eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, she's literally rinsing his eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just giving his eyes a rinse. They're bleeding from the onions. <laughs> My eyeballs! Excuse me, your eyeballs are watering. <laughs> oh, he wants to try and get rid of the flavor of the onion. No, that's With good. onion chips. With onion chips. He wants to get rid of the onion flavor out of his mouth with onion chips. What a legend. Wow. <sighs> How's the smell your... of onions and garlic cooking is like my childhood. How are your eyeballs though? <laughs> Love it. Yeah, they're kind of bleeding. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you gave me such a fright! <laughs> what was that? What was that? You nearly killed me! <laughs> Are you gonna give them a tip? Yeah, it doesn't really matter what uh, dish you are making. It doesn't really matter. I thought you were gonna say it doesn't really matter what time of day it is. No, it doesn't, because then you can just. <laughs> <laughs> to sweat your onions, so fry them oh, in a bit of sweaty oil. Sweaty onions. Yeah, sweaty onions. <laughs> to get your onions oh my gosh. really sweaty. Does everyone know about sweaty onions? You just get, like, even just like. Okay. Just do that once or twice, maybe. Let it all burn off. And then do it like once or twice. Oh man, it makes the onions and garlic so much better. Up next, we're making the next component of the dish, which is cornmeal. <laughs> no, it's <I> not. Mean, <laughs> 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 okay, 
Okay, now we're going to add one cup of milk in. And now for the comedy section of this show. Stabbing a knife through mum's favourite bag. <gasps> Hey buddy, you want to say hi to the NZers? Yeah? First layer. We probably should have cooked the mince in the power stein pan, but we hadn't got that far yet. Yeah, well, we remembered a little bit uh, afterwards, but yeah. hey, at least we remembered. Yeah. And so the next layer... you got to spread it evenly around, eh? Yep. Oh my goodness, this is so strange. Wow, we have never had, we've never had anything like this. Super weird. <laughs> like what is going on right now? <laughs> what is happening? Why are we putting some sort of like batter on our mints? Batter on our mints. We are done. So how long does it go in for, Chill? Uh, 35 to 40. 40 minutes. Yeah. No, 30 to 35. 30 to 35 minutes. We'll be seeing you. Okay. Here we go. Okay. To child, Jeremy. Did you just kiss it goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I hate goodbyes. <laughs> Oh, I think it's ready. Oh, it smells good. It does smell it smells good. like pasta. It smells like, yeah, it does a little bit, eh? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. I'm excited oh. to see this one. That is like nothing I've ever seen. Whoa. What? Look at that. What? It's like, it's like crispy so on top. Wow. It smells so oh, like. Yeah, it's like actual bread. That's so crazy. We're all having turns touching it. This is crazy, <laughs> eh? Because we've never had anything like this. Nothing. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, Should all right. Sit up? Yeah, let's yeah, sit let's up. Do let's it. go. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited. And welcome back to our dining room, guys, where we're about to sit up at the table and enjoy a piece of cornbread with chili. Make sure you guys pull up a chair too and enjoy this with us. Cornbread and chili. This looks so good. It's about to go down. <laughs> Denzel's like got that look in his eye. He's got that. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> he is hungry. Wow. Wow. I'm so intrigued can how I, this is going to oh, taste. I got like um, lasagna vibes. Yeah, definitely. Oh, when look I at this. Up. Yeah, steam. definitely. It sort of smells like that. Yeah, but the steam is just... Do we put sour cream on or? Yeah, so yeah. Uh, we read that you can put some sides with it or whatever. Let's, um, let's chuck some on a plate and so we can try some with them without. Yeah, yeah. Okay, bash, bash it, it, smash it. it. Smash it. What? Oh, wow. What? It's like a little bit crunchy, the bread. Like, you know, the texture is like... I get it. I get it. Oh, my goodness. I get it. There's a little bit of sweetness to oh it as well. Oh, my gosh, the sweetness. I'm trying out the sour cream. Me too. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Better. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the sour cream. Not gonna lie. This oh, might wow. be my favorite thing that we've tried in the yeah. kitchen together so far. No yeah. way. Yeah. No. Yeah. Actually. Nah. Yeah. No. Nah. What's yours then, Gen Z? Uh, the toasty. Corn dogs. Oh, the toasty, corn. yes, toasty. Oh, and yeah. then corn dogs. Oh, uh, you still remember the corn dogs. The corn dogs were good. Sour Ooh, corn dogs please. were sort of the same vibe. Okay, does corn. Thanksgiving count? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, pumpkin pie is still number one for me. Really? Yeah. That's a, that caught me by surprise. I if you haven't I, seen our pumpkin pie episode, go and watch it. Yeah, just because I had no idea what to expect. Yeah. No, same. I thought it was going to actually taste like pumpkin. I knew what to expect kind of here. It was going to be some sort of bready like substance on the top and then it was going to be like a chili. I thought I wasn't going to like it. Really? Yeah, I thought I was uh, going to like, do you know what I thought I was going to do? Yeah. Scrape off the cornbread and just have <laughs> it. I, I had high hopes. Really? Yeah. Coming I really did somebody didn't. who doesn't like sour mm. cream, it's better with sour cream. Yeah. It really is. Do you know what I love about this meal? What? Mm. I love it how it's like one of those things there where it's it's the only thing you need to make that night. Yeah. You take a scoop out and you got your whole meal on your spoon yeah. and you put it on your plate and you're sorted. You're done. You know, you put a little bit of sour cream or cheese or jalapeno yeah. or whatever. A little bit of sides. A little bit of garnishing. Yeah. But ultimately it's just a meal, you know? It's so good. Everybody takes a scoop and you're done. And it's yum. Oh we only use it like so hot. hot. Oh mm. man. This is something that, it's good eh? Wow man. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I can't wait to try the um, cornbread muffins now. That's gonna be epic. This is totally something you could bring to a dinner party. Yeah, slap it down. Yeah. Everybody takes a spoon. Takes a yeah. grab of it. Like, like, yeah. they almost like it's like a Christmas vibe. Like, it's almost like bring... tacos. Yeah. That's yeah. kind of what it, the vibes it's giving me. It's yeah. Pie taco. Taco pie. Taco pie. So I think that's another important thing is ratio. Mm. You need to make sure you grab the right amount of cornbread with the. I feel like we nailed it. With the chili. Oh yeah, we did. It was awesome. Love like, it. This is good. Yeah. I'm shocked. Mmm. Oh, it's yum. I didn't think I was going to finish this, but 
Here I am. Wow. This is from this guy, eh? That is like high praise. High praise from this dude. An empty Denzel plate mm -hmm. is like... <laughs> See his head pop up? Chef's kiss. <laughs> empty <laughs> Denzel plate is like... Yep. <laughs> <sighs> Who's ready? Okay. One, two, three, go! go. Have you got two? You got two toes up! How many toes up? How many toes? <laughs> Do we all put toes up? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, has two in my face. Wow. Toes yeah, in the case. No need for the button. We all put feet all over the table. Yeah. This is a uh, this is a meal worthy of putting your feet on the table for. I mean, it's a little unconventional. We need the sanitizer. How many toes up? No, one. Well, one. 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 We salute you! Awesome, good stuff. Yes. We loved it. Oh that wow, so this good. guy is like, oh. he is, he's getting involved. Both of them. Oh my goodness. I just, also, I think it's something about this, uh, the cast iron skillet. <laughs> I think, like, and you know, like you got the Dutch oven and all that sort of like ceramic, like slow cooking. It just like oh, infuses it just makes those the flavors. flavors so like much better. Like the Chicago deep dish pizza? Yes. Yeah, oh, the, oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. The deep dish pizza was so good. So anyway, good. let's keep our focus on cornbread. Cornbread. How do you guys like your cornbread? Yeah. How do you guys like it? Let us know down in the comment section. Oh, do we do this right? What, what toppings do you have? Cornbread. Oh, mm. you have cornbread with your cornbread. My mind blown. And that was it for our cornbread taste testing, guys. We absolutely loved it. Uh, toes up all around the table, which mm -hmm. doesn't happen very often. No. So high praise. And uh, yeah, if you want to know uh, anything about us, guys, like all the GoFundMe stuff, there's um, the Patreon stuff, there's our merch, uh, there's Instagram, uh, there's all the good stuff, all the links that you want to see and find out, make sure you go check it out below the video. And we'll see you in the next one. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Denzi, share another serving? Yes, please. Oh man, this Give one's so good. Oh, so good. I want more.